I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the eyes where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. And maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe? It was true then. I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself? I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all.
those I love. And I will gladly bear your burdens too. Until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again. Together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last Mother Crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. 
We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop still. Okay. Let's hope so. Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, the King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like... You... you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was Chris. Only one man established his dominance that day. I'm sorry, brother. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many... Perhaps... No, perhaps the Prince feels... What is this place? <gasps> Don't move! It's fresh from the well. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. 
This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them, or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Perhaps he can find you will be returning to Walud. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think of a few. You will take... Of course. Set on leaving already, I... How long will it take us to get back to... Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get it. Maybe less. If your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch... All depends on where we're putting in... Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! What? Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. I do. I still say it were a compliment. Ah, Clive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prod... I'm not here for mid. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her... As soon as the Enterprise is ready, and we're going to need a safe place. Preferably one that won't see my ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have res... Very little is known of Ash, and the information... We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to out... If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't... Then tell us what we will find. But no splinters! All right, all right, but interrupt me. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the Kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the Southern Seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud, 
remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beastmen and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the Blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment, and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive? You had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence... Probably more visit, Mid. I need everyone in the ale hall. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Clive. I'll want a full report when you return. Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. Don't tell me we've run out of plive. Coin purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Not find a better price than that. Is that all? Oh, the stew's awful thing we have. Trouble with your gear, or what do you want? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Lost you a good while. No scratches, right? Thank me later. And 
Still alive, are you? Coin purse weighing you down. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Run out of Pepe on that and all. What do I owe the honor? So, what it be? And how am I meant to do that then? work, but it'll do. Anything else? I have no reason. Clive, you must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to death, and what I discovered appears to... You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with... But while I've always known it to be important, it's secret now, however, I believe I know where to find them. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels... Ch I would think not, but there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and the hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the... Wait... You said it waned on storm. Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed, but if no new faith arose, then back. And so, you see now why I must accompany you. It would appear the past still has much, though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of... <laughs> to think that he... I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my luck. Joshua. If you're finished here, join me. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Mid said I can ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So if we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good shot. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for... I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima, as well as slow our march. Only Joshua and I... And a scout. Preferably a good... You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's... Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat if you sense any danger at all. You leave us behind and return. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I, the ship ain't going nowhere till you're sk... Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop... Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and you'll be needing passage up. But... Very well. Let me know when you're leaving. Of course. I am certain we will find what we seek in Ash, and learn the truth of Ultima's origins.
how do you split the sea? You... There's something wrong. Not at all. Honestly. Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order. I'll hold you to that. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Hmm? There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality?
Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. That's 
no peace delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Esther Slaver and monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell which way is up. If I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. <sighs> Ugh, this place reeks like a marble's arsehole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us.
How much breath? Uh, don't look down, Torgal. <laughs> That must be Estla. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter gap! No quarter!
Gav? Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. Shit! No! Uh, Clive? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? Got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him, 